Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that is important to all of us. I think it's important because it connects to our money and health. And I think these are the most two things that we care about the most. So after searching of this topic for my speech, I've came to the same result of that of the expert. But to have a good and healthy life, we should limit uh, eating. We should limit the amount of meat that we eat every week. And by saying this, I don't mean to be a vegan not, and, not to eat, and not to eat meat at all, but I mean to eat less meat during the week. So studies found, there's a study that found that eating two portions of meat uh, every week are good for the protein requirements. So today I'm going to talk about the disadvantages of eating meat on our health and the uh, negative impact on the environment and how and how, mis uh, and how eating less meat saves us money. So first I'm going to start by saying uh, the disadvantages of meat to our body. So um, there, are certain uh, there are certain type of meat that are dangerous for our body and these are lamb, beef and pork. So these are the most harmful meat that can cause dangerous diseases. So as mentioned in the in the healthy article, meat is consisting of fat, cholesterol, and sodium. So we should le eat less meat because it's high in uh, saturated fat and cholesterol, and this may increase the risk of having cardiovascular disease, such as uh, heart, heart attack. And, and we should also limit down the amount of meat because it's high in sodium, which may increase the risk of having uh, health uh, Serious health problems like uh, stroke and uh, heart diseases. And uh, according to 10 reasons to stop eating red meat, eating meat hardened blood vessels, a compound found in meat, in red meat, and even used in as an additive in some energy drinks, called cartinine. Uh, this 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 compound has been found to cause the hardening of arteries according to a study published in the journal Nature, Nature Medicine. The research, which included more than 2,500 vegans, vegetarians, and only worse cardiac patients, suggests that car cartilage converts to a heart damaging compound. So, and eating meat may increase the risk of type 2, type two diabetes. So, according to a a report published by JAM International Journal, eating red meat or, or processed meat can over time increase the risk of developing, developing type 2 diabetes. Especially 3.5 ounces of red meat or 1.8 ounces of processed meat, which is about a hot dog or two, two slices of bacon. So by eating this daily may lead to a 19% and from 19% to 51% increase in diabetes risk. So according to BBC News, uh, there is statistics that is done by Harvard students. And uh, this, uh, they analyzed data from 37,000 men and 83,000 women. And they said that during a study period, adding an extra portion of 1% of red meat to someone's daily diet would increase the risk of death by 13%, of fatal car cardiovascular disease by 18%, and of cancer mortality by 10%. So the figures for processed meat were higher. 20% for overall mortality, 21% for death from heart rate and problems, and 16% from can for, for cancer mortality. So now I've talked about uh, how eating meat is dangerous for our body. So now I'm going to move to the point the, the negative impacts of eating meat on the environment. So eating meat can cause environmental uh, pollution and bad treatment of animals. So by eating less meat, uh, livestock will uh, stop producing a huge amount of uh, animals, uh, and this will uh, and this will will decrease the reduce of this will uh, this will decrease the amount of air pollution and will let us have more water. So affecting the environment, how it, how eating less meat affect the environment. So meat affects the environment more than any other food that we eat uh, because it consumes a huge, a huge amount of natural resources because livestock require much of land, energy, food, and water to raise and to transport. So according to a report published by World, World Watch Institute, 
Uh, it says a staggering 51% or more of global greenhouse gas emissions are caused by animal agriculture. So and in the same article, there's a video that says uh, it takes a 16 pounds of grain to only produce one pound of meat. So and for uh, bad animal treatment, uh, Paul Chapiro, Vice President of Farm Animal Protection at the Humane Society of the United States says, from locking animals in tiny cages, to slicing parts of their bodies off without any pain relief, to genetically selecting them to grow to, to so obese and so fast that many become lean. It's far the biggest cause of animal suffering in the world. Uh, so now I'm gonna talk about how eating less meat uh, can save us a lot, uh, much, a lot of money. So by eating less meat, so as I mentioned earlier, by eating less uh, eating meat can cause us dangerous diseases like heart problem, uh, like heart problems, and actually for a, a heart surgery it needs for two hundred thousand dollars to take our health to return our health back, and this may not work. So why would we? So why would you pay this big amount of money that you have been saving for years of hard work? And it's easy to control and it's easy to take that choice to limit the amount of meat eaten per week. So and actually by eating less meat, you not you not need to go to the doctor so often and you will not take that as much much medicine. So the second reason why eating less meat saves money is uh, as a result of buying vegetables and fruit. You're gonna save money because, for example, the pound of vegetables or fruits are cheaper than a pound of meat. So, and for a person who eats meat every day, statistics shows that eating less meat saves you about four dollars a day on all your meals, which would add up to about one thousand five hundred dollars a year. So today I've talked about the disadvantages of eating meat. Uh, on our health and the environment, and how to save money by eating less meat. So re just remember, guys, it's such a simple step for a healthy body and a cleaner environment. And thanks for listening. Hi, Victoria, what did you think? I liked your introduction and how you said that um, it would help us financially because as college students we are a little bit tight on money here. Um, it did seem like you were reading mainly from your notes though, and that you were, it wasn't just like statistics and stuff, it was like you had written all of your notes down on a piece of paper and cut it up into little flashcards. Other than that, I really liked your speech, I thought it was really well, well structured. Okay. All right, well, you're clear what your topic is. There's a good preview. I think that helps uh, when it comes to structure. Um, I do think that uh, you talk about the health risks um, adequately. Uh, you, you provide enough information for us to believe that there could, in fact, be uh, some health risks. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, you, you basically have said that we should eat less, but you haven't really suggested how much less we should be eating and what would make the difference. So if you were cutting out meat at one meal a, a, a week or um, if you uh, consumed half as much, uh, it would be a little bit easier to figure out what those so-called health benefits would be. I thought you, you cited that information very consistently in the speech. I appreciated that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there was some data that talked about the risks increasing um, from a study that said if we added this much meat to the diet, you get all of these extra risks. But there's not really any discussion of what the average person's um, 
meat consumption, as we know that from an earlier speech, though, we have that, you know, we're putting that together, uh, we would know that. And you know, so the question then, of course, is what's the safe level? Are we at the safe level? Are you saying don't eat more? Or if we drop down, how much should we drop down? Like I said, I, I always feel like this is the this is what you set up at the beginning as your purpose in the speech, and then you don't really talk about that as as the goal. Um, and so that's a little complicated. The environmental issues get a little bit less attention. Um, I do think that there are some good points here about the greenhouse gases, about the who's in height, <coughs> about the the amount of resources that have to be exploited in order to produce meat, but we don't get much of an impact on the environment based on that. There's a very brief reference to animal issues, and it's so brief that I'm not sure that you get anything from it. It probably would be easier to take that out entirely and then expand the argument on environmental issues. <coughs> when you talk about what the advantages would be, I, I like that. Uh, the notion that people would be saving money in the long run there would be <coughs> some benefit to that. I think that's helpful. Excuse me. Um, the review is okay and I think uh, as uh, Victoria already said there's a lot of reading going on. It looks a little awkward with those little pieces of paper in your hand and uh, you need to be uh, I think better prepared for delivering the speech at this point. All right. Thank you much.